Sorry to have a productive Tuesday morning here at 7 a.m. Just submitted a support request to try and get this replaced, so feeling pretty good about that. Running my backups, got this nice backup to Artemis script. So getting all of my photos, all my videos, all my projects backed up, feeling pretty good about that because you should always be backing up your software. And then I, I had another idea for a startup last night, so feeling passionate again, feeling engaged. Now I just need to get into work and see if I can make the best of the day. I'm so excited for self-driving cars. I've never been able to ride in a Waymo, but if I ever got the opportunity, I would jump on that. We just got a package. We just got a package. We just got a package with some Pixel phones. This is it. This is it. Oh my God. The Google Pixel stand. The Google. Pixel stand. Hashtag Team Pixel. Pixel 3XL. What, what? And a little baby Google Pixel 3. Ta da! And there it is the Pixel 3XL. all its beautiful glassy glory. This is probably the audio headphone adapter. Oh, that's cool, they include that. So I have both USB-C headphones and a USB-C to, US, USB to my mini jack adapter. So if you line the Pixel 2 XL up right next to the Pixel 3 XL, you can see they're almost identically sized, but you don't actually get any more usable screen real estate. Like if you look at these copying messages, they're virtually perfectly lined up. So what's the point of a big old notch if you can't actually take advantage of it? So it's funny, I just put both of these phones in camera mode and the Pixel 3 XL tells me that my lens need, might need cleaning and my Pixel 2 XL is really struggling to find focus. So I turned the brightness up on both of the phones just so you can compare. So on the, on the back here we have the Pixel 2 XL and on the front we have the Pixel 3 XL. Look at the difference between the color profiles of these two. And so for comparison, that's what it looks like on the GH5. I would say if I had to pick one that's more realistic, ah, it's hard to say. Check out this yellow and black stain here on the granite countertop on the Pixel 2 XL compared to the Pixel 3 XL. That looks so different. One of the things that's clear is that the Pixel 3 XL actually has a wider lens. So you see how I can fit from the yellow stain to the black dot here? Check it out. They don't actually. So I'd always heard that both of these cameras were about the same on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 3. The fact that they're this different is actually shocking to me. Oh my God. I'm really excited because I think I'm going to use the wide angle lens for vlogging all the time. Because look at how much more of the world you can get in the shot. This is much better. So one of the things I haven't tested yet is the audio quality. So this is me just talking normally into the camera in selfie mode. And this is me way back on the Pixel 2 XL talking to myself in selfie mode, normal volume. Let's compare the audio quality. Here we have what I'm calling the tilt test to see how sticky the backs are. Whoa, I don't know if you can see that, but one of the phones starts sliding at like 15 degrees. That, of course, would be the Pixel 3 XL. Here is the Pixel 2 XL and the Pixel 3 XL selfie without the wide action shot. Wow, the Pixel XL 3, much, much better. Check this out, look at, look at the color compared to this one. So my primary use of my cell phone being pictures and video, I am loving the Pixel 3 XL so far. Ta-da! It just popped right out of the box. Seems like we have a protective cover here. Ooh, so fresh and so clean, clean. I hope that there is a power adapter in here. More documentation. All right, so we've got the stand all set up and plugged in. Let's give this a try. We're at 48% now. And there's no visual indication if that's, oh, there it goes. 
It just hasn't adjusted to the ambient light in the room, but this is a very, very difficult to see screen. Here it is in the dark. That is not much better at all. For comparison with the night mode of the Pixel 2 XL, we have that on the right. So I'm a little disappointed that the ambient screen does not adjust to the light in the room. This is going to be problematic at work if I want to use this as a dock or if I want to just use it at any time when I'm not sleeping. I think Google has a whole bunch of software bugs to work out because watch, I'm going to turn off the phone so it's in ambient mode, I'm going to put it on the dock and then it's going to go through this wild journey of adaptation. So it launches a little timer, it tries pulling down notifications, it hides everything and then we're back at the ambient screen. So I just spent the last half hour setting up different accounts and access. What I've seen is that it's better than it used to be, but it's still pretty dismal. So about half of the accounts came over automatically with their data, so I didn't have to log in again. Uh, of those, uh, half knew my password via the new kind of Chrome locker or whatever that they've got, and then half I had to go and manually look it up. So things are definitely getting better, but we're, we're only 50 to 75% of the way there. So one important thing to note about the difference between the Pixel 2 XL and the Pixel 3 XL is I started charging the 2 at like 30% several hours ago and I'm at 63% battery now. And I started charging the 3 via the dock and I'm at 55%. So the dock is much, much slower at charging than the USB cable. Hey baby boo, yeah. you're upgrading from your Pixel 1. Are you excited to try out the Pixel 3? I'm nervous, but I'm excited. It's not as slippery as I thought it would be because it's like heavier. I apologize, this is gonna be loud, but we're gonna do an audio test. So, old phone. I am so excited. Today is gonna be so much fun. It's fucking cold. And new phone. Why am I already feeling like instead of fleshing out the. Hmm. I can't really tell the difference. They sound about the same. I think same volume, but the Pixel 3 XL is higher quality. So I turned on ambient photos when the photo is on the stand, but maybe that's not the best option because I don't want to be staring at photos all night. So these were just some of my first impressions after having used the Pixel 3 XL for just a little bit. And I just got Steph set up with her Pixel 3 not XL. We'll give these a try for a few weeks and then we'll do a more full review of all the features in terms of what we like about it, what we don't like about it, when it's actually living in our pockets in our daily lives. That's all for tonight. Good night.